friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be watching this short about a gold digger who got exactly what she deserved. It's pretty juicy, I wanna show you guys. Oh baby, I'm so excited. I think I know what it is. You know how badly I've wanted this bag. I want you to have everything you want in life, babe. Wait, what is this? Kate Spade? <gasps> I can't be caught wearing Kate Spade. I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. Louis Vuitton. A Louis Vuitton bag. Louis Vuitton. A Louis Vuitton bag. Calm down, Karen. It's just a bag. He could have got you, coach. If she gonna complain about a gift, send her to the gulag. I know, but Bella, things are pretty tight right now. Baby, I promise, once my business takes off, I'll buy you any bag you want. Just have some faith in me, please. Whatever. Uh, my dude really got some willpower to not just be like, boom! I don't know what kind of farm some people are raised on to like receive a gift and just be like, how could you get this to me? You got me this, I wanted this. Stop, it's so rude. My dude means well. Like he didn't have to get you nothing. That stupid idea of yours, it's never gonna take off. I won't be caught dead wearing a cheap bag like this. <gasps> anyway, I'm hungry. Let's go. I can't imagine spending two, three hundred dollars on a bag and then she just gonna boom ungrateful. Oh good, they're getting in a car. Maybe he can finally drop her off at the street corner where she belong. Okay. So what do you feel like eating? So I'm craving steak and wine. Alright, we're gonna take her to the Outback Steakhouse. Oh, um I was thinking maybe something a little less expensive. How about Denny's? Denny's? Ugh, I go to IHOP. It don't matter how much money you have, I ain't never met anybody who doesn't like IHOP. Denny's? Are you kidding? You're gonna take me, a girl that looks like this, into Denny's for dinner? You know, personally, I would have dropped her off at the 7-Eleven, get her a glizzy on a stick or something, and then left her there. Come on, come on, please start. Here we go again. When are you finally gonna get rid of this junk and get a nice car? Bella, I'm telling you, once this business takes off, I'm going to be able to take you wherever you want to go. How many times do I have to tell you that your stupid idea is not gonna work? Ooh, yikes! How did these two even, like, get together? What happened? They have nothing in common. Girl, you want a rich man? Go get yourself a rich man. Like, if you're with someone, you gotta believe in them. You gotta support them. He's trying his best. There we go. <laughs> Please, just have some faith in me. Stop acting like a loser. So I really hope nobody sees me in this crappy car. Hey, babe. What is going on here? I'm excited you're here. Oh, you were able to get the back you wanted. Yeah, well... You weren't gonna do it, so I had to take care of it myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? If you have money to buy a Louis Vuitton bag, then go buy it yourself. Why you gotta depend on somebody to buy things for you? Like, that's so lame and embarrassing. Like, Daddy, will you please buy me this bag? If you got money, just do it yourself. It feels so much better to just, like, have your own money, buy whatever you want, not needing to rely on anybody. Well, well, I'm happy for you. Anyways, um, take a seat. So... Babe, um, we've been together for almost a year now. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Why does she look at him like he's her younger brother? She just has like permanent resting stank face. Like the face you make when something smells. But when you look at your boyfriend. Can't imagine my life without you. So Bella, will you marry me? What is that? Are you kidding? That doesn't even look like a two carat ring. It's so small. Oh, perfect. It matches your brain. I promise you, if you have some faith in me, once my business takes off, I will give you the stone of your dreams. Let's get one thing clear, okay? Your business is never going to take off. And no, I am not going to marry you, and I'm not going to be caught wearing that tiny diamond on my finger. You know what? Estefan was right. You're never going to change. Estefan... Who's Estefan? The other guy I'm seeing. <gasps> you didn't seriously think I was gonna wait around until you get me the things that I really want. Who do you think got me this bag? Oh! She didn't even buy it herself! Estefan got it for her! Ooh! My 
Kaku like so in love with her. We gonna ignore the fact that she had a whole entire man's on the side. And then this dude got her ring and proposed. Like, first of all, after one year for somebody with a stank nasty attitude. I don't understand. Babe, please have, have some faith. No. What faith? I am done. I need a real man who can satisfy my needs. Bye. Enjoy getting trampled all over by a real man. With your business, which is never gonna take off. I, I bet. So Bella ends up with Estefan. Oh, now he's gonna treat her how she treated her man. Look, look at his face, he's like, ugh. She don't even want a boyfriend. The only boyfriend she wants is Louis Vuitton. John got over his breakup, focused on his business, and then met someone new. Hey, new girl, what's up? So Bella came to visit Estefan. <gasps> oh, he buying Louis Vuitton for every girl in the office. <laughs> Life started going down. Buying all the girls in the office the same bag. He ain't even slick about it. Every week, pull up to the office with a Louis Vuitton bag for my new office wifey. So, surprise, surprise, John's business ends up taking off. And then one day, they happen to run into each other a few years later. <laughs> oh my god. John. Hey, Bella. Long time no see. Wow, you look amazing. Is that a Louis bag? Yeah. Picked up a little something. I thought you didn't like Kate Spade. <laughs> oh, that's just for a friend. What you mean it's just for a friend? You're literally a few years later still carrying around the Kate Spade bag your ex got you. That so you threw a whole fit over, <gasps> knocked it off the kitchen counter, and now you're here wearing it. Mm. So, is this your car? Oh. Yeah. Just picked it up. Pretty nice, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, casually just bought a $400,000 car. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Listen, I really can't stop thinking about you. About your new boyfriend, Stefan, the rich guy? Oh, that's over. <laughs> he ended up... Anyway, remember that ring you got me? I've been thinking, and actually, I'm, I'm really fine with hey, this up. There she is. Ooh. Hey, you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, let me introduce you, Bella. This is Rose, Rose Bella. Well, this is awkward. Let me just introduce you to my ex who I just ran into right now. We used to date like years ago. Hey, nice to meet you. I didn't realize you had a new girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> actually it's fiance. John proposed a week ago. Ooh. Isn't it amazing? Tee <laughs> I told him he didn't have to do so much. Your stupid business never gonna take off. Boom! I want you to have everything you want in life, mm -hmm. babe. Wong, 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 wong. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Um, we're gonna be late for our dinner reservations. Right. We wouldn't want you missing mm -hmm. the steak and wine. <laughs> really rub that in. Wow. I don't understand. <laughs> what does she have that I don't? <laughs> well, she believed in me. When you would get mad at me for not being able to buy you a designer bag, Rose would get mad at me for buying her any bag at all. She wanted me to invest my money in the business instead. Oh. And when you would get upset at me when I couldn't buy you expensive dinners, Rose would get upset at me if I tried to take her out at all. She would cook me homemade meals so I could focus on my work. And when you left me for not buying you a big enough diamond, Rose stood by my side, waiting patiently until my business took off, so I could finally buy her the ring she deserved. That's how a relationship should be. You can't date somebody and just be like, buy me this, 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 this. If you want a relationship where they're just buying you stuff, join the sugar daddy side. You can't date somebody that works at Arby's, expecting him to buy you Louis Vuitton. You believed in me when I had nothing, so now I want to give her everything. It was good seeing you, Bella. He's so nice about it, so civil, you know? I feel like that pisses off people the most when they're like, you know, all humble brag, all nice about it. If she would've showed up, I would've been like, ah! Bella, th this you? Hey, wifey, this is the girl I was telling you about. This the ungrateful scumbag. <laughs> she still got that case paper bag, I got her. Joke's on you. But Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link the original in the description below. Darmon makes a ton of good shorts like this. If you guys enjoyed and want me to react to some more of these, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure to 
make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.